Gotch Livestock Feeders is a multi-generational family company that was started by my father, Bob Gotch. His plan was that the next generation would be able to run this company and that we continue to provide for a plan that will allow this company to last well beyond our generations and generations of the future. We want to be the best cattle feeding operation in the industry through integrity, honesty, respect for each other, to do the right things even when nobody's watching. To accomplish the best cattle feeding performance and operational efficiencies, we provide the latest in technologies and equipment. There are unlimited opportunities at Gotts Livestock Feeders to move up. If you put the time in, the work, you want to learn, we're looking for team leaders, team builders. We've got many examples of people that came in and started on the ground floor and worked their way up. We're here to help, help people learn and help develop them so they can uh, have a promising career with us, not just a job. It really comes down to the people. We have to empower them to use their knowledge and their experiences. Of course, we don't run this company by committee, but all of that input is important to making the right decisions to take this company in the right direction. This isn't a big corporate environment where you got tons of levels of hierarchy. Everybody has access to their managers or the owners, and you can come and talk to them and make sure your voice is heard. My name is Jack Lawless. I work for Gotch Livestock Feeders. I'm the general manager of their Junietta feed yard and Red Cloud feed yard. We receive cattle, feed them to finish weights. Our goal is to be the best at that in the industry. We work towards that every day. I went to college at Kansas State University and got a degree in animal science like a thousand years ago. I've worked in feed yards my entire adult life. My favorite part about my job is I get to work with some very talented, amazing people that, that work hard every day and for the most part love what they do. It takes a lot of people. Total we have 80 to 85 people working at these two feed yards all together. When everybody's working together and these facilities are firing on all eight cylinders, it's just phenomenal. Some of the best people in the whole industry work for this company and I am lucky enough to get to work with them. There's always something going on, cattle coming overnight, cattle coming during the day. Most of the employees, they come in anywhere from five in the morning till six in the morning to start their shift and they don't leave until the job is done. It depends if you're a cowboy shipping cattle at four in the morning, or if you're a feed truck driver that starts at 5.30 in the morning until all the pens are fed. Teamwork's really important in this size of yard. Everybody's jobs are pretty specialized, but everything kind of intertwines too, and they gotta work together and know how everything else works. There's a lot of different jobs that a person can find that fit what they like to do whether it's working with animals, working with equipment. It really comes down to your work ethic and what you want to learn. We're not afraid to teach anybody, as long as they're willing to put forth the effort. Every day when you come to work, it's something new. You're guaranteed you're going to learn something new about your job that day. I go over corn tickets, check our feed system, make sure everything ran through correctly. If it doesn't, we have to get that fixed, so everything's correct for today's feeding. Weigh trucks. I do the payables for the commodities here in Red Cloud. Usually you're busy every day, it makes the day go by really fast. Feed yards have become much more technologically advanced. We're real-time radio frequency throughout the yard. So anything that happens in a hospital, in a processing barn, even in a feed truck, is downloaded to the server in the office as it happens. I can tell from my Hastings office that they just fed pin 303. I can tell you where every truck's at, how fast they're going. We've done some things here with changing our mill system over, getting into new technology. With that, we still try and do things the right way by handling the cattle so we don't let technology interfere with what we believe in on that side. From top to bottom, they're cattlemen first. And I don't think that can ever be replaced by a computer. But to be able to use that technology to back up your decisions and, and to possibly make decisions on a more educated basis. There's definitely a balance, but, but one definitely can't be overused. 
We want to use less drugs and do things with more handling and keeping cattle from getting sick rather than having to treat them for being sick. We've transitioned most of our processing areas as well as our loadout areas into using bud boxes. They're named after Bud Williams, who is kind of a cattle handling guru. The basic principle of a bud box is you're taking cattle down an alley to a dead end, asking them to turn around and face you, and then they'll walk by you thinking they're going to escape the way they came in when they're actually going up to a processing chute or onto a truck. It increases our efficiencies, it decreases the stress on the cattle, it decreases the injuries on the cattle. Low stress cattle handling builds confidence in the animal to the caregiver and then that animal starts to see that caregiver as a, as a source of guidance. So then they're more able and willing to show signs of weakness or illness if that should occur. But the biggest thing that it's helped us with is preventing illness from occurring. It's a little bit of a dying art. Some of the things that we're doing with our cattle handling techniques today are gonna save that art. The processing crew, they're our first people that touch any incoming cattle. So how they handle cattle, the job they do with proper shot placement, clean needles, clean facilities, taking their time and not hurting cattle as we go through processing. It's important that they do a good job so that vaccines can work properly. To have people that are there to receive those cattle in a calm, quiet, and correct manner really helps reduce the stress levels of those cattle. When the cattle go through the processing barn, my team is gonna cut their tails, make sure they have a lot tag, are properly implanted, will be treated for external and internal parasites and vaccinated. They do all of this to BQA standards. That helps ensure a quality and consistent job and also ensures some of the safety to the employees, the cattle, and ultimately the consumer. We have quality facilities, new technology, and above all, we work for a company that believes in treating people the way that they want to be treated themselves, fair and honest. Each feed yard has a cowboy crew that's responsible for animal health. They also do shipping. When we get a pen ready to ship, the cowboys will go take them from the pen and load them on trucks to go to the plant. To be a cowboy, you need a, like a tough person. You gotta be outside sometimes at 60 miles an hour, wind blow, snow, lightning, or um, all that kind of stuff. I can call the plant and say that I can ship it because it's too cold, so the, the cat has gotta be in the truck uh, before the six o'clock. Not anybody can take it, but you gotta pick them out the right person. I've been doing it for 40 years. This is my, my job, this is, I love this job. I got like eight people working underneath to me. Everybody, you know, as a team. I take those guys from three to four weeks with me before I let it go by herself. I work on those cattle to make those cattle come and be friends of the cowboys and the cowboys friends of the cows. We're always looking for cowboys. You don't have to be a great horseman. Those are some skills that you can build over time. We can train most people if, if they've got a willingness. We've got some people right now that started out really, really green and have developed into really good cattle handlers. Anything that would need attention, the cowboys will pull them out and get them to the hospital. When the cattle first come in, I run them through the chute and I put an electronic EID in their ear. The cowboys write notes on what they pulled them out of the pen for. I listen to them, take their temperature, and make sure that they get the right treatment that they need. I study animal livestock in college at Beatrice. I've been working for Gotch Livestock Feeders for 11 years. I enjoy coming here every day and doing my job. The use of technology to train and get better at our therapies and how we evaluate cattle. Gotch Enterprises has been one of the yards that is one of the leaders in our industry right now as far as always adopting new tools and technologies to better their crew and become more informed. The feed crew's responsibilities are making feed every day, a consistent feed that we can mix and deliver to the cattle. That involves maintaining and running a mill, maintaining and running the feed trucks at each facility, the feed loader at each facility. What we're trying to do with the feed crew is deliver the same thing at the same time every day. It's a lot different than it used to be. We're not just 
throwing feed in a mixer wagon and going delivering the whole load to a single pin. Everything's weighed. We're loading ingredients within 50 pounds and delivering them within 50 pounds. Each ration we feed is scientifically developed by our feed yard nutritionist. To ensure the consistency of our flakes, we first sample the moisture of the corn coming into the flakers. It's where we add water and a surfactant to take the corn to 18% moisture. We'll take two flake samples a day to bake in our oven. She'll be weighed going in and weighed coming out to determine the moisture. We'll also weigh several samples a day to ensure we are meeting our target pounds per bushel. Technology plays a huge factor in what I do. Each feed truck has a laptop in it, which there's wireless internet running to them. So if they feed one pin, as soon as they log it, it's live. I make the feed calls in the laptop in my pickup, and then it'll generate loads for each ration, and then it'll be divided up to the feed trucks and they will deliver it. At the end of the day, they wash their trucks and clean their cabs and look their trucks over to make sure they're working properly so they're ready to start feeding the next day. I like the challenge of trying to get each pin to meet their potential, perform the best they can. Our maintenance crews are really responsible for keeping the cattle comfortable and keeping everything else running. So they maintain pins, roads, fences. If they don't do their job, it makes it very difficult for every other crew to get their job done. Been here for about 15 years, working on a little bit of everything, so it's pretty challenging and fun every day. We have to have this equipment running so that the schedule that we try and keep these cattle on is maintained because it makes so much difference to the health and well-being of the animals. I just love the day-to-day -day variety of everything that I get to see and work on and every once in a while somebody will holler up from another part of the company and they'll go, oh, we need help over here. If you come down and help us pull a calf, can you come help us process for a little while? Everything we have here is just about really an endless supply of knowledge and equipment to work with, people that know what's going on in the industry. We're more than glad to try and work with anybody that has an interest in agriculture to try and become what they think they want to become. See if this is really where you belong. You may make a lifetime career of it. There's example after example in this company of people that started out at the lowest level and ended up running their own place and stay in most of their lives. The upward potential here is amazing. Probably more success stories in this company than anywhere I've ever seen. They're a very innovative company. They empower their caregivers and the people under them that are producing this great product that we have. They're one of the top in the nation in terms of cattle feeding and food production. We are a simple company. We have one goal. Everybody has the same goal. We want to be the best. We don't want to be the biggest. We want to be the best. A successful company, to me, is having people that are happy doing what they do and to be the best in the industry.